Well, meanwhile, the United Nations Security Council is continuing with its mission of drawing attention to the humanitarian crisis currently gripping the Lake Chad region in West Africa. The humanitarian situation there is said to have been triggered by the Boko Haram insurgency and more than 20 million people are affected. A delegation from the UN's top decision-making body embarked on a four-nation visit of the region a week after UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres raised the alarm over the threat of famine in northeast Nigeria, which is the epicenter of the Boko Haram conflict. The United Nations is seeking $1.5 billion in funding to curb the crisis. So far, 14 donor countries have pledged $672 million in emergency aid. The UNSC delegation was in Niger over the weekend. We are here to support the efforts of the president and the government, as well as those of neighboring countries, when it comes to these three crises. Firstly, that of terror, Boko Haram, Al-Qaeda and other groups. The second is the humanitarian crisis that the people here are suffering from. And the third one is the issue of development. And we have discussed these issues and their long-term implications with the president.